fast, stuffing them shits in the safe. Got me a spot out the way. Nigga just trying to be safe. Let's get to the sports talk. If their defense gets some pieces and plays better, this offense in year two and Hakeem Butler getting healthy will only be better. And so it's a sign that Larry Fitzgerald believes in Kyler Murray, believes in Cliff Kingsbury, believes that they can make a run at the playoffs next year. Fitz can still do it. <laughs> yeah. I, think that's, I mean, as simple as that, like this is 17 years of playing at a high level. Um, and, and it's not, listen, to play in the NFL at a high level for 17 years is like hitting the lottery when it's at a billion dollars. Um, the hits that Fitz is taking, the, the ability to go across the middle of the field his entire career and, and make those plays and just being a prolific receiver uh, since his college days. Like this dude was up for the Heisman. That's how good he is. I think people forget that Larry Fitzgerald, because we're now we have a new crop of receivers, and there's been like well, there's just, been like three new crops. Yeah, of exactly. Receivers, that eh? that part alone, like we we see the new receivers and all of that. And Fitz is kind of not, you know, not really a public dude, not the flamboyant type receiver. Not saying anything is wrong with that, but he has been quietly putting together arguably one of the top ten careers ever in the NFL. Ever through like I let me emphasize ever Larry because Larry Fitzgerald he don't have to do as much he don't have to do the stuff he had to do in his in his uh, younger days when he first came in he just know what a right spot to sit in to get Kyler Murray a, a chance to throw the football into an open space and that's what he do and sit there and catch the football he barely dropped the football. I mean, one year he ain't dropped no passes. I mean, another year he only dropped one pass. And that's about it. Like, he's one of the consistent wide receivers all the time. You know, anyway, we just talk about it because he's in Arizona. Then he, he don't really talk to the media. He really ain't flashy. So, they ain't going to really talk about Larry Fitzgerald. But he's going to be a Hall of Fame when he's done. He sees something in Kyler Murray and Kingsbury. So, that's what making him come back. Because he feel like he got a good quarterback there. And Kyler Murray, year two, I feel like Kyler Murray going to take himself to a next step as well. The offense is there. It's just the other side of the ball. It's the defense that have to get better to help this team take another step. Because they have the offense. But you need a defense to come along with the offense. Fitzgerald has put together one of the top 10 careers ever since yeah. the inception of this game. I think people need to understand that. So to your point about Kyler Murray, Kyler, take that as the biggest compliment in the world, in the world, because so many people think highly of him. And and look, too, I got to say this. I was, I was not in on Kyler Murray. I thought it was very difficult for quarterbacks that were not of stature to be consistent in this game. That was just me, and maybe I'm a relic, but this year he proved me wrong. <laughs> You are. He proved, me, he proved Listen, me wrong this year, man. I Marcus mean, Spears and I'll call it relic. like I see it. I call it like There's I see it. Ring. Call it yeah, like I see it. Relic. Yeah, like, well, I, it, I, him coming back is. Because he in the right situation. He had the right coach. He fit everything Kingsbury running. They both coming out of the Big 12. And he fit that system. You got to, you just got to be around a coach that fit every skill set that you, uh, that you have. And he does. And that's why he flourished in his first year, because he in a system that fit everything he do. One thing, JoJo, but that tweet where he's so clearly energized by all this, mm -hmm. uh, not only by Kyler Murray, but it also seems a stamp of approval for Cliff Kingsbury, uh, who, again, I thought the odds of this kind of working weren't all that high. Uh, surprised at all that he's all in on all of that? Well, first of all, he's Mr. Arizona, and Larry is just, <laughs> That's fair. That's he's fair. just a great guy. His family is great. His dad, his auntie, his brother, all of whom I've met, he's just, he exudes that, and he just lets that permeate through the team. And I remember I covered their first practice when Kyler Murray joined the team, and it was the first time that Kyler Murray was there with the whole team, and you could just feel the energy with Cliff Kingsbury and Kyler Murray having joined the team. I remember Cliff had on his sunglasses, had that, I don't know where he's from, but California vibe. <laughs> I 
I, I felt whatever it was. It felt like sun and, the, and waves and, and the ocean was <laughs> around the facility because that's what I felt like I felt. So if I felt that, I can imagine yeah. what he was feeling too. And then just to speak about how you now feel, uh, you know, bought in on Kyler Murray. So you know that he is absorbing that too because I remember just watching Kyler Murray in that first practice. And I think we, we talked about it over there when we did NFL Live and I was impersonating Kyler Murray the first time he went to the line of scrimmage and he just kind of stood with his, I'm, I'm not, well. It's a, it's a lot of things they have to fix, though. They still got to get him protection up front with the offensive line because he got pressure a lot this season. Like, he, he, he going to need someone to protect him going forward so he can sit in the pocket and observe what the defense trying to do so he can give it to his wide receivers because he got pressure a lot, and they got to do something on the defensive side, the off, offensive line. He be real scratchy, real scratch, and uh, for him to keep him all right because he did take a, he, took, he did take a, a lot of hits, but he got away from a, a lot of it too. It, but it just they had to get some protection up front for him. Maybe I'll do it. He was just, he just kind of <laughs> just stood there in this way where you're just like, man. He is, this is his first day on the job, and he was just commanding his space. So I just feel like I know why he is saying that, because from day one, I saw it. I know he saw it. And I feel like he showed it in certain wins during the season where even though they didn't have the record like it wasn't like a 500 or above, but there were certain games this season where they really competed where to Dan's point, you're like, okay, maybe they're going to couple like three or four wins on top of that to even be more competitive. And you can see the belief in where it comes well, from. Well, and it's such a yeah. juxtaposition, right? A strong juxtaposition between Luke. Because they were in a lot of their games. It just came to the other side of the ball. They couldn't stop anyone like that. On like a few games, they play good defense. Then next few games, everyone just running all over them and pass all over them. They was in their games. Larry Fitzgerald just seen how this offense progress, and that made him think like I could come, be, I could come back and help this kid continue growing. Um, I see something there with our offense. I feel like we could. Make a run to play next year. And they can because they had the offense. They was in a lot of their games. You know, it was a lot of games that they gave up. That's why their record ended the way it ended this season. Kickley, who'd give anything, I think, to play 17 absolutely. seasons healthy in a yeah, healthy manner. And Larry Fitz, who gets to do it again and says, I feel great and I'm excited about this. So, <laughs> look, uh, both phenomenal players, and, and it's uh, we get to have Fitz another year. So It's awesome. That's, that is that's awesome. Oh, he had a quiet 800 yards receiving last year, too. Yeah, just We're so glad you're watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the...